Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> this sucks. But we're going to do something. I need you, need you, need you to stay with this till the end. Because we're going to do something. We're, we're, we're going to do something here. And check this out. Remember when the Taliban, we were told how they were going to be so honest and inclusive. Now they turned over a new leaf. Remember Joe Biden believed it so much that he turned over a list because the Afghanistan, the, uh, the Taliban was going to bake them a cake or walk them to the airport or something. Taliban, Yahoo News, Taliban brutally killed a popular Afghan folk singer just days after it said music is forbidden in Islam, former minister says. Now, even if you were, like, hear me out here, and I need you to stay to the end of this video. You'll see why. I, it's going to prove a point here. I really need you. But hear me out here. Even if you did believe that music was evil, why would you kill the man? Why wouldn't you just run him away from the village? Or at the very least, and I'm not in favor of this. God, God no. Okay, give me a little room to talk here. Punish the man. If you are a subscriber to this nutcase religion, then punish the man. But why this? But stay, I don't want you to tune out because we're going to do something at the end of this that needs to be done. And it's not going to work if you're not listening. So you got to be listening. Here's the news real quick. The Taliban killed a popular Afghan folk singer just days after the group said that it hoped to ban music from being played in public in Afghanistan, according to a former minister. Fawad Andarabi was brutally killed on Saturday, said Musad Andarabi, who was the interior minister under the former Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, in a Twitter post. Mr. I left the country. He was reportedly dragged from his village home in Adarab, near the Pansh... The, I'm going to kill this. Panshir Valley, before being shot dead, according to LBC News. Today, they brutally killed folk lyric singer Fawad Andarabi, who was simply bringing joy to the valley and its people. Musad Andarabi wrote in a post accompanying a video of the folk singer performing. Stay with me. Don't go away, damn it. During an interview with the New York Times published on Wednesday, a spokesman for the Taliban said that music is forbidden in, forbidden in Islam. Well, they've certainly come a long way in their beliefs. Um, it used to be forbidden. Now it's just... Written. Uh, Zabadullah Majahid, who is seen as a likely contender for the new government's culture minister role, uh, told the paper that the Taliban is hoping to persuade people not to perform music. Persuade? You killed the man, you twit! Under the previous period of rule, the Taliban banned all music, apart from some religious chant, according to The Guardian. Cassette tapes were destroyed, musical instruments were forbidden, and even captive songbirds were outlawed, the paper said. It's not only music that the Taliban intends to crack down on. According to India Today, female voices on TV and radio channels have also been outlawed. What's interesting about that is that the Islam claims David, and you know, the, the, you know King David is, I hope, uh, they, they claim David in their ideology. They claim that David's one of the fathers of their religion. Well, isn't that interesting since David was a psalmist! Okay, he may not have written music with a beat, we need not argue that, but he wrote music. And you know what he used to do it? Instruments! The instruments are written about in great detail in all of the psalms, in all of his poems, in all of the music. Do you know what psalms means? Psalms means music! Shazam, Sparky! Use the thinking part of your brain! So here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to rant anymore. This is why I needed you to hang around it to the end. We're going to highlight this man's face. And here's why we're doing this. There's going to be a lot of people watching this video who have, ne including me, who have never in their lives ever heard of Fawad and Arabi. And the Taliban wanted to stop his music. They wanted to kill his music by killing him. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit share on this video, and I'm going to play his entire song. Even if you don't like it, do me a favor. Just let it play. Let it play so that it will register on the count. Let's have a whole bunch of people hear the music. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and get his music out to even more people than would have heard it if they hadn't killed him. Let's do it. You want to do that with me? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here you go, my friend.
this is for you. I ain't going to say a word. Well, I may have to say something to make it sound like I'm commenting or they're going to pull the video down. Here's his music. <laughs> Clearly a threat. Once again, I'm not stealing anybody's music here. I'm proving a point. You're listening to the correct words. They destroyed his instruments, tortured him, and killed him. Keep in mind the music of Islam isn't allowed to have a straight beat because it's considered rock and roll. We all know rock and roll means sex. Okay. It doesn't. They killed him for this? What? What is he talking about? Shane and Mohammed? What did he do wrong? May God bless him. You might have thought you killed him. You might have thought you silenced him. Well, you didn't on my show. Hmm.